Hey everyone, welcome back to another video with Code with Ro. I'm actually going to be starting my devlog on creating my first game using Ascend Combat Framework in Unreal Engine 5. And in this video, I'm going to be going over how to create this eight directional movement starting from a blank project. You'll see that my character turns and moves instantly in eight directions, kind of like Link's Awakening. And all he does is just move and idle for now. And let's get started. Look how cute these are. So I got these kawaii cows from, uh, I got these really cute cows from this super kawaii labs website where they do all sorts of cute things and they want to get into the gaming stuff they found me on youtube thought it was super cool and let's get started so yeah not really a tutorial but more of a dev log but you guys can follow along with whatever characters that you have since there's very minimal animations i got with this character because it's going to be very uh very simple game so since acf is not out for 5.4 as i'm making this video i'm going to start it on 5.3.1 and under your install plugins make sure you have ascend combat framework installed and then i also have ats and ACF UI, all something I really recommend, really makes making games a lot easier. I'll hit launch, start the project. So now my Unreal Project Browser open, I'll hit games, blank, and I'm not gonna include the starter content. I just want it to be from a very blank state with nothing in it. I'm gonna make sure I select blueprint. I'll just leave quality as maximum. Target platform is gonna be desktop. And I'll just call this uh, project ACF game tutorial, and I'll hit create. It already opens with my project settings tab open. And I'll just, I don't really want this map. There's a lot of stuff in this map. So I'm just gonna create a new map. So hold control, click N and I'll do a basic and I'll just call this like the demo level. So I'm gonna hit save. And in my content folder, I'm gonna right click, create a new folder into the maps folder, double click it. And I'll just call this demo level. So I'll save that. In my project settings, I'm gonna go to the search look for maps and then the editor startup map demo level and then same with game default map for now. I'll just leave it as demo level. And now I'm going to import the characters they gave me. So the 3D model with a few animations and the texture. So I'm going to import the model first. I'll create a new folder called characters. And then I'll import my skeleton SK underscore bull. Yeah, so mesh, it'll just create a new skeletal mesh. Mesh. I'll leave everything checked. Hit import all. And now the character they gave me looks like this without the proper material, just because I haven't imported the textures yet. And then I'll go ahead and import the animations and textures. Don't need the render because that's just a video. So I'll import the animations folder and I'll select the bull skeleton, import all. And then I'll go back, import my textures folder. And I have my RGB, brown and strawberry cow. And I'll just go ahead and drag the brown texture onto my material, connect this, connect that and delete that, hit apply. And then when I go back, my cow is now brown. So that looks super cute, a little bit, but cute. And if I drag this texture on top, it would look. now my animations, I want to see how it looks. Oh, looks, it actually looks really good. I like the blinking. My FOV is kind of weird in the default game mode, but I don't have the ACF game mode yet because I need to actually enable those plugins. I'm going to go to edit plugins, search for Ascent Combat Framework, and I'm going to enable all three. I'll hit save and restart. I'll create a new folder called Blueprints. And in here, I'm just going to start creating my cow player. And up for game mode, I'm going to change this to Actually, let me see where the ACF game mode is. If it's in the plugins folder, I don't want to mess with anything in there or in the engine content. I mean, I'm just going to search for ACF game mode. And because the BP is here, I'm just going to make a copy. Yeah, I'll make a copy of this in contents for now. I'll copy one here and I'll call this cow game mode BP. And yeah, I can't change any of this yet because I haven't made anything. I haven't made any of these yet. Okay. So I'll cancel that out. I'll just drag this to be my main game mode for now. And in my character in blueprints, I'll create my blueprint class. And for ascent combat framework, you want your character to be the child of ACF player character BP right here. And I'll just call this cow underscore BP. And the reason why is so that it inherits all the ACF properties to be able to fight and be animated as if it's an ACF component. And just like the wiki says, the first sentence just says, if you want to create a character, you must create a blueprint that inherits from ACF player character BP or AI. But in this case, we just need the player one. And now I'm going to open my cow BP and I want to set my mesh as the cow character. So bull. And I don't have any, um, any animation. So let's set those up. Before we set up the animation, actually, I want to make sure the controls are right. So I'm looking to get an eight directional movement system with no turn, no turn rate at all. So I'm going to have to set up some controls. 
as well. I'll create a new folder called inputs. And then I want to create my input. So I want my input mapping context. I'll call this IMC default. And then I also want to create another input action. And I'll call this IA for input action movement. And I'll double click on my movement. And the only thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to change digital bool to access 2D vector 2D. This is because this is a 3D playing ground. And I do want to be able to move left, right, up, down. If I wanted to do something that involves flying, I would do something like Axis 3D. In more of a 2D game, I would do Axis 1D and so on. And now I can close out of this. And in my IMC default, I'm going to add four mappings, or actually, I'll add one mapping. And in my IA movement, IA input action movement, I'm going to add four keys. So my WASD, so I'll do this one W, A, so the second one, S, and D. And I'll hit. File, save all. And now for my W, I want to set this one. I want to add a modifier that will be scalar. And I'll just save this and just test out my W for now. But when I go to my bowl, go to my event graph, I want to make sure that, that I can turn and basically set up my, I'm going to be setting up my movement component right here. So I'll add IA movement and I'll expand, expand this. Now for action value, I'm going to break the vector 2D. And I want my X and Y to make a vector and I'll connect the Y. Make sure Z is zero because we're not going to be doing anything with the Z axis. And I want to normalize this value and leave the tolerance as 0.00001 or 0001. And then I want to do a make rot from X. This is just so that our character turns instantly. It has no turning speed so that this will set our character rotation. So set actor rotation. And the normalize will pretty much just tell our character what direction to move in. So we want to connect the normalize to both the mate, make rot from X and into add movement input. And then I'll just connect the nodes. So the rest are pretty much good. I make sure you do not have the return and force connected. This one over here, you don't want that. And then set actor rotation will be for triggered. Now I'll hit compile and save. And I don't have anything defining my mapping context, my input mapping context. People will usually do this on the cow BP, but I think it's a better optimization if you do this on your game mode. So I'll go ahead to my cow game mode and oh, it looks like the ACF one already had this for us. <laughs> if you don't have this, you would just add these three get player controller goes to the enhanced input local player subsystem and that goes into target. And then for your mapping context, you just select your IMC default, your input mapping context. So I compile. Now I'll play the demo. I didn't set my cow BP as my character. Now BP, save, play. And now you should only be able to move up because we only set the W. So now when I go back to my IMC default, I'll set my A to, so A will be left, which is going to be our negative. So I'll add the negate. And then I'll also add whistle. And for my S, I'll just do negate because it's the negative of my, it's the opposite of my W. And for my D key, I'm just going to do swizzle input from axis. Now when I hit save, you're going to see my cow character. So when I hit W, A, or sorry, W, A, S, D. So it's turning instantly. And if I were to do like A and S at the same time, you'd see it go diagonal. W and D will go diagonal upwards and so on. But now I want to adjust my camera so that I am looking at it from more of a top-down perspective, like Link's Awakening. And so what I'm going to do is in my cow BP, go to the spring arm in the viewport. And I want, before the spring arm itself, I want to rotate this upwards so it doesn't actually move. If I just try to rotate this, I actually have to play with the camera, the arm length and stuff. So 300 is fine here. I'll set this to zero so that it's centered. And then I'll set my, change the 100 to 300 to be higher. And now I need the camera. So the Z will be three because that's the height. Now I need the camera to actually turn down and I think this is good. So it looks like it's looking directly onto my character and I can kind of help from the spring arm. It looks good. So now when I hit play, so this angle actually does look pretty nearly perfect, but my character is just really big. So I'm going to go to my cow BP, go to my mesh, hit this lock button to change the scale of it and change it to 0 0.5. 0 0.5 will be good. But then I also have to change some of these collision stuff. So the capsule, I'm going to change this to something like 50, 50. This one, I'll probably just increase to the size of the capsule. This is my interaction component. 
And then I'll just move this up so that my feet align with the, oh, perfect, the capsule. So I control save. Oh, and now that looks really good. So my character is right in the middle. And if I go W, -T, I'll kind of T pose everywhere. And you'll see my character have this weird blur. The lighting is just reflecting the motion. So what we want to do to fix that is head over to our project settings, look for motion blur and turn this off. And now you'll see that when I move around really quick, it's gone. There's no more of that weird light flashing. And that's good. That's good. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'll just close some of these because these are all set up. This is set up. I'll leave the cow BP open. And now what I'm going to want to do is I want to create two. Actually, I just need to create my ACF simple ABP. Because this is going to be a simple character. Because this game is very is going to be a very lightweight game where the movements are pretty minor. And I'm not going to have that many animations. I can just I can get away with making a simple character. So I'm going to right click and in my animations folder, I'll create another blueprint and I'll search for ACF simple template ABP. And I'll call this cow simple template ABP. And I'll go ahead and select my full cow skeleton. Hit control save. And now I want to go up here in the details panel where you can edit the defaults if this is not showing. And I'm just going to add IK. I'm going to disable foot IK. I don't need that. It's going to be like a Game Boy type game. And I'll just leave the eyes. I'll just leave this here. And then for moveset, I want to create a simple moveset. So in the wiki, ACF actually states that ACF simple moveset is more suited for humanoid like locomotion with strafe movements. This is what I'm looking for because quadruped movements are more for like animals, horses, stuff like that. And it says if no gameplay tags are selected, the root tag provided in the project settings will be used. And so that means I don't need to because I'm only going to be using one because my character will have the same animations as if it has a sword and shield equipped at the same time. I'm just going to pretty much allow my character to be able to use it after certain bosses, like use certain items like a boomerang, a bow and arrow, and so on. And it'll just be played in one animation that shoot. It won't actually be its own moveset later for this case. So I control save, and now I need to create a new ABP. And this will be under the ACF simple moveset. And I'll just call this cow simple moveset underscore ABP. Double click this and select my skeleton. And now all I need to do is just create a couple blend spaces, which for some reason doesn't show up in the details here. And I'll just add my jumps. Okay, so this is actually really easy. So it's just a blend, it's just blend space. So more of what I used to do in UE4. Character. So jump, jump land will be my end. Jump fall loot will be jump title. And then jump start will be my jump initialize. And now I have to create two blend spaces. I don't have one for swimming just yet. So I can add that in later. I'm not sure if I'll allow swimming at the moment, but I probably will because I do want some underwater levels. But because I'm not going to. I'm going to have one same, the same speed the entire time and the same idle animation the entire time. All I have to do here is just create a blend space and I'm going to call this idle underscore blend space and I'll select my skeleton. And in this blend space, this is just going to be the idle one. So I'm just going to drag my idle here. Uh, I want to, I mean, you can just drop it in like that, but I just want to um, leave this at zero, I guess. Or in the middle, what's the middle? 50. Okay, I'll just be, I'll just leave it at 50 because I want it to be dead in the center. That might just be like an OCD thing. I'll hit save and leave that in here. And I'll hit compile. Oh, and oh my god, I almost forgot. I actually have to set it to my how simple moveset BBP here. And I'll leave the tag name in this empty. I'll hit compile. And now my cow BP under the mesh. I'm gonna select that cow simple template. ABP. Now when I hit, yeah, so I'll be idling and T-posing while I move, but when I come back to idle, and that's because I just don't have my jog animation. And for my my movement blend space, it's just going to be another, I'll actually just do regular blend space, movement underscore blend space. I'll select my cow skeleton, and then I'm just going to drag in my jogging in. And same thing, I'll just set this to 50, 50, just to put it right in the center. I'll hit save or save all. And now, since these are all filled out and I only have that one animation, oh, gotta compile, compile. And now when I hit play, my character will be jogging around and yeah, so this looks really good. Might move my camera a little down though because it's not completely centered like I want it to be. 
Okay, yeah, this looks good. I just I just rotated my camera down 10, 10 degrees, and now it looks like I'm pretty centered in the screen. And that's pretty much the first part of my devlog, just getting my character movement up and running. Animation looks good. I turned off my foot IK, added my blend spaces because it's a simple character. And it rotates instantly without it looking weird. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this first devlog. It's actually coming along pretty quickly. So I'll be so I'll be making a full complete game using Ascent Combat Framework. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to Coded Row. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.